After the release of Return of the Jedi and no plans for more Star Wars movies in the work, Kenner had a problem. Star Wars was dying. Kids were moving on, thanks to toy lines like He-Man, G.I. Joe, Transformers, and more. But as the Star Wars toy line was seeing decreasing sales, Kenner didn't want to go down without a fight. The designer team loved Star Wars and they wanted to keep it alive as best they could. So the Kenner designers came up with plans on how to bring life back into Star Wars. Now I did a whole video about their planned 1986 line, the expanded Star Wars is Forever line, where they were going to bring back Tarkin, do more ships, and kind of do things not based on the movie, do figures based on their extended universe that Kenner was making up. But this video is going to look at two figures that we don't have a lot of information about other than Kenner designers, other than the Kenner designer made up a prototype action figure to present to the bosses at Kenner. At this time in the mid-80s, one of the biggest toy lines under Kenner's belt was Mask. They were similar to the Star Wars line, but a little smaller scale. The figures were, without their helmets, two and three-fourths inches, a little smaller than your standard Star Wars figures, a little taller than maybe an Ewok, but smaller than the standard Star Wars figure. So what do you do when you're working at Kenner and you have a successful toy line that's really growing like Mask and a dying toy line like Star Wars? Well, you try to look at what's making Mask successful and bring it over to Star Wars to bring life back into it. And that's what one designer had. One of the designers over at Kenner took the Kenner Mask action figure, Hondu, and used it for a prototype of a Darth Vader action figure that would be the same scale of the Mask action figure line. That was their plan to redo the whole Star Wars line, scaling them down to more of the size of the Mask figures. This would also give them knee joints like the Mask figures. This would have worked great for the Star Wars line. You could have scaled down the figures, made them cheaper to make, and even scaled down the ships, again, making them cheaper to produce and sell to the customer. There were two prototype figures made. One was Darth Vader, as I talked about earlier. And you can see that Darth Vader Kick Bash prototype action figure right next to the Mask Hondo action figure. The other prototype made for this line to present to the Kenner bosses was a Luke Skywalker in X-Wing outfit, which would have been a great figure because he could have came along with a smaller, cheaper X-Wing fighter. This is what the concept prototype looked like. The Jar Jar Binks is standing next to is a standard 3 34 inch figure, so you can kind of see the difference in sizes. Sadly, the bosses over at Kenner turned down this plan to redo the Star Wars action figure line. With sales declining in 1985 and the line being canceled and no further movies in the works, Kenner decided to move on from Star Wars. It was probably the best decision they could make, at least from a business standpoint at that time. Star Wars for a time in the late 80s and early 90s just wasn't the big pop culture icon that it once was. I don't know how many of you out there knew about this pitch plan for a mass size Star Wars action figure line. I know a lot of my viewers like the mass toy line. I really should do a video on that line. Honestly, I don't know much about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me in the comments below, what do you think about this planned toy line? Would you have you liked it as a kid back in the 80s to see Star Wars redone in a whole different size and started all over again around 1987? It would have been interesting for sure. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please thumb up my video and subscribe to the channel. Hey, jump <laughs> that channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.